So this is future Jan speaking, and I have to intervene at that point. So as I said before, this channel is, isn't about clickbait in anything. So when you saw that thumbnail with the lathe laying on its side, that is actually not a fake. I took that photo by myself. So today I want to show you how I learned the hard way that you shouldn't be using four coasters to roll heavy equipment. And i show you why in a second. So imagine this is a lathe in my case. And you have it set up on four like heavy duty rollers. And you move this whole thing and it's working fine. Up to the point where one of those coasters isn't um, getting any tension anymore. And what ends up happening is this becomes really unstable and it can actually tip over. And this is what happens in my particular case. So there are two options that are way better than what I chose. And this would be a setup that is working, have it on three rollers. The other option would be to actually use four of them and have these two and these two connected by an axle. So luckily no one got hurt that day. That was the most important part. Um, we did learn a lot about moving equipment and the lathe itself is in pretty good condition. Um, most of the damage was being absorbed by the chip pen that is made out of really heavy duty steel and it absorbed most of that impact. All the bearing surfaces and whatnot and the spindle arrangement wasn't affected in any way. So. It was purely cosmetic, we fixed it, we're over it, we learned something. So, let's get back to the video.